Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can move your Google Tor Builder files into Google Earth in the web version of Google Earth and in the desktop version of Google Earth. As you may have heard, Google is shutting down Tor Builder in 2021, in July 2021 which is unfortunate because it was a really great tool. It still is a great tool. You can still use it for six more months. But let's go ahead and look at how you can move from Tor Builder into Google Earth. So let's go into My Tours. You can see I'm already signed into my account. And let's pick any one of the tours that I have in here. Let me do my one of uh, Oh, the Places You'll Go or Richard's Tour of the World. Doesn't really matter which one I pick. Let's just pick this one. And you can see there I have a couple of places in my tour. It's a very simple tour. I've chosen a small one for this demo so that the file size is manageable in the context of a screencast. Now in the upper right hand corner, we're going to open up this more options menu. And we have a couple of ways to move this into Google Earth. You can export to Google Earth and that will then export directly into the web version of Google Earth for you, provided that you are signed in to the web version of Google Earth using the same Google account. You can see I'm using the same account in both settings here. The other option you can do is you can download the file. And now file download as a KML. So you can see there, I've downloaded the file. And now in the web version of Google Earth, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here and select my projects. And I'll select new project. And I can open the project from Google Earth, I'm sorry, from Google Drive, if I've stored that file in Google Drive, or I can import from my computer. So let's import from my computer. There's the file. And there is my tour now in Google Earth. And you can see my tour had just Sydney and Portland in it. And I can jump from place to place within that context. Now you'll notice here, my little place marker didn't include the image that I had back here when I was using Tor Builder. So I'll still have to go back in and add in those images and I'll edit that plate, I'll have to edit those place marks. So that's one option. The other option, if I, use the desktop version of Google Earth, also known as the Google Earth Pro version, which is free despite the pro name. Go to File, select Open, and then you can open your file, your Google Earth file here in Google Earth. And you'll see there's your markers. I can click on Portland. And in this case, my images actually came through. And you can see I have my images there. And if I go to Sydney, those are my images right there. And I can even hit the play tour button and it will play through automatically. The nice thing about adding it into the Google Earth Pro version is I could then go ahead and use the recording tools and do some narration on top of the place marks that I've added into my tour as I spin the earth around. So that's a couple of ways to move from Google Tor Builder into Google Earth. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.